talking about composting. You might be wondering, well, what is composting? It's actually nature's recycling system. So composting is a great way that nature takes organic materials and breaks them down into the vital elements that plants and soils need in order to be healthy. Composting actually returns carbon molecules to the earth, avoiding excess carbon emissions in the atmosphere where they can actually trap heat. And so when we talk about composting, we're simply talking about returning vital nutrients back from where they came, from the soil. In order to compost, you need four things. You need carbon sources, nitrogen sources, air, and water. Now you may or may not have heard of carbon and nitrogen before, but those are two organic elements that are common in living things. What we're gonna talk about today is what those specific carbon and nitrogen sources look like. When we talk about carbon sources, another way we refer to them sometimes in science, especially the science of composting, is called our browns. Carbon sources are things that are dried and are void of any moisture, or a lot of the moisture is already gone. So compostable browns or compostable carbon sources are things like brown leaves, brown paper bags, cardboard, uh, if you ever use coffee filters. Again, brown, you notice there's a reason they're called browns. They're dried, many times they're your paper sources, or your newspaper, um, dried leaves, things like that. Nitrogen sources are called greens, and they have a higher moisture content or a higher water content in them. Things that are good nitrogen sources are grass clippings, fruits and vegetable peels, coffee grounds, all of those are great sources of compostable nitrogen. So today we are going to test your knowledge about composting by playing a little sorting game. So hopefully you printed off this sorting sheet and also these three pages of items. If you haven't printed them off yet, no big deal. Just pause the video, go ahead and print them off, and then come on back. If you've already printed them, make sure you have this set to the side. This says compostable greens, compostable browns, our trash can, and recycling. Okay, I'm gonna set that here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just simply cut apart my sorting cards. You can use scissors. I happen to have a nice little paper cutter, which is just faster for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut apart my sorting cards. And you're gonna find and hopefully, as you go through this activity, you're much more aware of what can and can't be composted, or what should and shouldn't be composted. Different people have different um, access to different kinds of systems. If you are using an industrial compost site, they might be able to do more things um, than maybe I would want to, simply because for smell, um, I may not want to compost meats or cheeses in my backyard because I don't want to attract raccoons or rats. Um, but different facilities, because they might get hotter, might not have to worry about that at all. So it just depends on your um, access to different composting facilities. For the purposes of this activity, we are going to deal with a traditional backyard composting system. So we want to be able to compost things that are plant-based and that fit our rules of nitrogen and carbon sources. We're gonna play a little game. I'm gonna use tape, just so it makes it easier for you to see. I'm gonna hold this up. Okay, so what you wanna do is you just wanna go through each card and see if you can figure out where each one of these cards falls in our sorting activity. Would they be considered a compostable green, a compostable brown, something you just recycled, or a trash can? Now, the recycling thing can be tricky because many things that are compostable grounds certainly can be recycled. But if we can compost it and return that item directly to the soil, I'd rather us choose to compost than to recycle. Kind of like if you're going to choose 
choice A or choice B, first or second option, my first option would be to compost it. Okay, if I can't compost it, then I'll take it to the recycling system. But I really wanna be able to compost it if I can. Okay, so first thing I have is newspaper. Where would the newspaper go? Compostable brown. What about a lemon rind? Is that a compostable green? Compostable brown? Does it just go in recycling? Or should that just go in the trash? If you said compostable green, you're correct. Let's try one more. How about a potato skin? If you said compostable green, you're also right. Even though potatoes aren't green when they're ready to eat, they do have a high content of moisture, so a good nitrogen source, and they are gonna be a great compostable green. You wanna go through all 18 of these cards. See if you can sort them into their respective areas, and then there is an answer sheet to go with it that you can check and see how you did. If you have any questions, let me know, and have fun sorting out your compostables.